everyone, welcome back to the episode of the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, we're going to be rendering out the error. Uh, and basically what I want to do is I want to demo to you guys first what it is we're going to be trying to accomplish. So if you take a look here, this is the new Codemy app, and I'm just going to show you the sign in page for now. Um, it's, you know, I just want to give you a quick update. It is coming along. It's looking really good, but there's a lot going on behind the scenes. You guys are not seeing that's why I'm not really seeing it yet, but it's coming very soon. So for now, let's take a look at what we have. Uh, so if I click sign in here, you'll see it says, please fill in the email and password. It makes sense because we, we haven't really typed anything in here. And so there's nothing to submit. Uh, so basically what we're trying to achieve here is something like this. So we get a bar uh, that kind of like displays the error to the user that, hey, you know, you got to do something, uh, you know, in order for me to proceed. And uh, so basically, if I click that, it goes away. And then now the user can go back to doing it or whatever it is that he or she was trying to do. Um, so let's have a look at that again. So when I click that, an animation comes down, it shows the error message, and then basically, uh, you know, shows a validation or whatever error message I want to show. So I'm going to close it out and we're going to get head back over to here. So what I want to do is try to do the same thing here. So when we click over here, if I submit this form uh, and, you know, with an empty address or a taxpayer ID, there should be an error that comes down. It shows all the errors that I have. Uh, and then basically uh, it allows the user to correct uh, the error and then basically proceed on with submitting the form or whatever it is he or she wants to do. Uh, so in this case, it'd be submitting this form. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start simple. So what uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out my Codemy site and then head back over to our invoice. Rails S. So I'm going to start up my Rails server. And basically here, I'm going to start up my yarn start. All right. So here we are. We, we got this. Uh, everything's working right now. And we got the error uh, message from the server. Uh, we just need to handle the, the error a little bit better than what we're, you know, than just getting it from the server. So uh, if you take a look at the server side over here, uh, I submit a form with a T. Uh, I get a rollback with unprocessable entity and I get a response as well. So let's take a look first at what we're going to be using. So we're going to use Fronto Connect. Uh, so the store that we're going to be working with, uh, the organization store is a Fronto Connect store. Uh, so if you don't know what Front to Connect is, take a look. Uh, we have uh, op it's open source. It's just a few line of code that I added that I use uh, like really, really often. Uh, so I've just abstracted it out so we can just extend from Front to Connect and we get a store we can just reuse over and over. So yeah, that's uh, you know a tool out there for you guys who want to use it. Uh, so don't forget to star uh, to support this project. So I'm continuously developing it. I'm continuously building things with it. Uh, so yeah, let's continue. So we're going to be using the set message. So there's a set message uh, function that I wrote in here that will basically allow us to kind of like set the message to the error message. Uh, and so basically, uh, then it, we are, we're going to monitor, we're going to basically check if, you know, if there is a message, we're going to render out a specific error. So before we get to that bar, that nice red bar or the green bar, whatever notification bar, um, you know, I'm going to be, you know, starting out doing it step by step, like we always do since this is a React Foundation uh, series. So what I'm going to be doing is here, you'll see that if we have a success response, we're going to do browser history, we're going to push and blah, blah, blah. And then it's going to, you know, do the success uh, scenario. But if we want to handle the error, all we have to do is write a 422. So basically, this is based on the response code from the server. So if you are responding with a 404 or whatever, you just type it in here. And I want to use 422 right now because that's what represents unprocessable entity. Like we submitted something, it's unprocessable. It's giving us an error back. So the error, the HTTP uh, response error for that is 422. So that's what I've done on my server side. And if you haven't seen the server side stuff, check out the, I'm, I'm going to link that episode uh, in this video so you guys can check that out. Um, so basically, uh, what I really want to do here is I want to do something with the response. So let me show you guys what we get as a response when we do uh, submit an empty form. So console.log response. All right. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at what we get. Uh, we're going to get this uh, object. So I'm going to head over here 
do a reload, everything's working. So if I do a uh, check out my console, we're going to see, so I'm going to submit this form. We're going to see we get this errors uh, as a response. And we can see inside there's address, can't be blank, taxpayer number, can't be blank. Great. So how are we going to render this out? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out just rendering this out just using definition list. Uh, so th these are just basic HTML tags. So we're going to use a DL, DT, and DT, DD tag. And basically, we're going to use the DT to render the field. And then the DD uh, is a list of errors. Uh, so because, you know, possibly there are many possible errors. So and since we get the, the you know, the, each error, uh, we get it back in an array. So we need to be able to iterate on more than one error. So basically, we're going to be rendering out this um, error over here. So let's go ahead and uh, use that 422 hook that we have and set the message. So I'm going to do a this dot organize organizations, a set message response dot errors. All right. So what do we do next? So basically now once we set the error on this organization, we can uh, render out the the message over here. So cons, uh, const message this dot organization like that. Uh, so when we get the error, we pass the message over into the organization store. Then we uh, observe. So we basically we're gonna, we are going to, you know, uh, use this message uh, to render out whatever it is we want to render out the error message in this case. So we can do something like this. So we can do div. And basically in here, so uh, if we don't want to um, render the div unless there's an error, what we can do is we can create a new function. So render uh, alert message. And what we can do is if message return null. Otherwise, we're going to return our div with the error message. So div. And then basically, once we develop this function, we're going to abstract it out into a component. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, and basically, once we have a component, then we can customize it, do all kinds of cool stuff with it. And we can write the function to dismiss and all that uh, stuff along with it as well. All right, so here we go. We have this div. Uh, and basically, what I want to do is render out the message. Now, the message, it's going to, what, what it's going to give us is basically um, the key and then an array, right? So for each va each attribute, it's going to be a key. So for example, it's going to be an address and the taxpayer number as a key. So we're going to render this out. How? We're going to do it like this. So I'm going to do uh, object dot keys message dot map and then item or field All right, so I'm gonna put that together like this. All right, great. So now we have the DL tag. So we need to give it a key as well. Field. And then in here, we're going to render the DT. Here is just gonna be the field. And basically, we need to give this guy a key. Actually, that should be fine. And here we're going to do a DD. And so basically, this is going to be an array from here. So we're going to do another uh, loop over here. And it's going to be a uh, message field dot map error. So now we're going to actually get the error message and render it out. So here we're going to put the DD inside over here. So we're going to list out, you know, as many errors as the server sends back. Error. All right. So everything looks good so far. Uh, actually, I don't even need this like that. Yeah, so that's fine. So we have the field. The field is going to be the name of the field. So for example, the address and in the list of the errors. 
and then we have over here, uh, you know, listing out and rendering the error message over here. Uh, so let's give this a whirl. So I'm going to call this function over here. This dot render alert message. All right, so that all that uh, goes away. So now we're looking good. So uh, if I go back over here now and I do a reload real quick uh, and I submit the form, we're going to get the error message. So address can be blank. Taxpayer number can be blank. And now as a user, I can see that and I can I can fix this. I know, oh, hey, I, I, I forgot and I, I left the address empty and I left the taxpayer ID empty. So I guess I got to figure that out before I move forward. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, so that's pretty much... Um, you know, all we're going to cover in this episode, uh, use, as you can see here, we it says we need to have a unique key prop. Uh, so what we can do is here, we can do a key error, just like that. So let's try that again. All right, so the error message is gone. So we just added the key for the error message. And now it's fine. Uh, so I want to wrap this up real quick, but before I wrap it up, I want to show you guys a cool new gadget I got from a good friend of mine uh, right, right over here. So it shows my YouTube subscribers. Uh, so add on to that number and click subscribe. Uh, you know, we appreciate your support. This is a free video. Uh, so as we go on, you know, the next videos are not going to be free. So once you subscribe, also check out our website. There's going to be a link in the description below. And you will be able to come uh, become a member on our site for just nine bucks a month uh, to get access to our future videos uh, that may or may not be uh, member exclusive. So with that, I want to wrap it up. I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.